Desiree with the astrologyaddiction.com. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video is going to be on Venus retrograde and I did a video on Venus retrograde uh, about a week and a half or two weeks ago and this is going to be part two of that video. Go check out that video if you would like. I went over the transit and the you know the timing things and some important key details that we want to keep in mind for this transit but I also discussed how it has actually affected me and my natal chart having Venus retrograde. Today's video is going to be on how Venus retrograde and the transit that's coming up in Gemini is going to actually affect each individual zodiac sign. So you can listen to this for your uh, rising sign, your moon, your sun, um, you know, maybe listen to all three and then you'll have a really good customized reading for yourself. Now, this transit of Venus in Gemini actually started on April 4th when Venus entered Gemini, and it will complete its cycle on August 8th when Venus enters Cancer. But there are a lot of different periods of time and um, aspects that we'll be experiencing through this transit. So it is definitely an important time and something that you want to be aware of. I also want to keep in mind that the last time that Venus was in Gemini and was going retrograde was April of 2012. So look at about April until August of 2012, that summer, and try to remember some themes of what was going on in your life. Maybe relationships or people that you were involved with, um, you know, maybe situations in your career, your professional life uh, that you were dealing with. And in this current Venus retrograde, it's going to definitely mirror some of those topics and potentially closing up those stories or continuing them in a new way. Now for Aries, we'll start with the first sign of the zodiac. Uh, this is going to definitely be a similar theme from 2012, so you want to go back and look at those those couple of months in that summer to see what you had uh, been dealing with. And it's actually going to be mostly a feeling of closing up those chapters that you were dealing with. Similar feelings might bubble up, similar anxieties or frustrations or even excitements that you were feel, feeling during that time. And I think for you, it's going to be a decision that is actually pretty life-changing that you're going to be dealing with. Say, for example, in 2012, maybe you were starting a new relationship or you were starting your career world, you know, your, your first job or something like that. And now this year, there is going to be a decision that you're faced with that you really have to make a commitment to potentially. Um, this can be regarding romance or, or something in regards to money as well can come up for you. The difference now is that in 2012, uh, Jupiter actually had moved from Taurus into Gemini. So you had both Venus and, um, and Jupiter in a sextile from your Aries, you know, placement. We also had Pluto at the early degrees of Capricorn. So that was in a square, you know, coming to a harsh square that actually was building up over this time. Now Pluto is at the end of Capricorn. So again, we are working on closing up this story of Capricorn. We're working on closing up this transformation that we've been going through. And also in 2012, when you have Jupiter and Venus in one sign, it's going to bring a lot of positivity. So you probably had a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, optimism, hope, and you know, just a maybe a newfound excitement that you had um, building up. Now this summer, there are, it's more of a restricting, you know, situation because we have Jupiter and Pluto conjunct. So it's highlighting some of those things that may have been happening in the background or that you, you were building up on during that time. But this summer, you really have to find clarity and make a decision on something that, you know, one of those themes that you were dealing with. Now for Taurus, you know, in 2012, you also had Jupiter in your sign um, for the beginning of this transit of Venus in Gemini. So you were probably getting, um, you know, it, the economy was definitely looking different. So that's something we want to keep in mind that, you know, you were maybe seeing a growth in something that you were working on or investing in or just a growth within yourself. You know, a lot of personal growth um, over the last, you know, from 2012 until now, a lot of development and a lot of probably, you know, life shattering, you know, life changing things that you actually experienced especially because Uranus is going through your signs. So you definitely even have more pressure on you to, you know, innovate and to keep growing. But I think that Jupiter and Pluto uh, being in a trine aspect to Taurus 
will help you to find that understanding that you're looking for. You know, Neptune in the background in Pisces is fogging things up for all of us, but I think you will have more of a, you know, decisive path that you kind of have to plow for yourself. This Venus retrograde is really going to be about finding new ways to make a living and to earn for yourself and, you know, be, becoming maybe more innovative, getting online with something that you wanted to do, making an online business or maybe becoming an entrepreneur, finding new exciting ways to earn a living, which, you know, is not always easy, definitely can be a little bit, you know, more hard and difficult at the forefront, but a Taurus, what do they do best? They finish things out until the end. So just, I think that Pluto and Jupiter trining to your Taurus will help you to decide and decipher and nail down the path that you want to take over this time. Now, Gemini, of course, uh, Geminis, you are going to be having a lot of activity going on. This is a big, you know, summer for you. And unfortunately, we are, you know, during de dealing with the pandemic and the quarantine right now. So I think one of the main things that Geminis can be dealing with is understanding loneliness and understanding how to be, you know, just with themselves and valuing and, you know, valuing that relationship that, that they have with themselves. Confidence can be a big, you know, factor that we are dealing with. And even self-image, you may be going through a physical transformation right now or a physical learning how to love yourself, learning how to take care of yourself in new ways. We're not able to go to the gym. We're not able to go to our fitness group classes where you can communicate and chit chat and you know flirt with someone. You have to learn how to be a little more comfortable alone or just with your family, which is definitely not you know what a Gemini typically wants to be doing. They want to get out and about and they want to explore they're so curious so they don't want to just sit with themselves but i think this venus retrograde is really for you guys going to be about alone time and about you know really building that confidence within yourself and putting more time into yourself you know putting less time into other people putting maybe less time into what other people want and just turning that around and focusing that attention on yourself so that you can invest in yourself Relationships can definitely also be something else that Gemini are dealing with. Uh, I have heard of a lot of Geminis that were actually starting up new relationships, um, you know, during this quarantine, beginning of April time, where now those relationships are being tested. And it definitely does ring back from the summer of 2012 because you can maybe have a relationship from that time frame be coming back and trying to get back into your life or try and uh, amend some type of, uh, you know, wrong that was done in the relationship or want to rekindle things. So you have to kind of turn that around and again, ask yourself, am I valuing myself in this situation? Is this right for me? Is this the right decision that I want to make? And is this going to make me a better person? So being a little bit more selfish um, in relationships, that's going to be something that you also have to focus on during this Venus retrograde. Now for Cancers, Venus retrograde in Gemini is going to probably bring up some unconscious things that you are working through. Maybe from 2012, you have things that you haven't dealt with. There may have been some, you know, situations that transpired during that time frame that just aren't unresolved you know maybe you've stuffed them away you've put the wall up and you have trust issues now and you haven't been able to work through those things so now this time is definitely going to be a time of healing retrospect kind of going into those places that might you know you might have hidden away the trauma or the anger the fear whatever it might be and definitely going to be a time that you can kind of work through that and heal those things maybe through partnership friendship or even just through new ways of you know seeing things and new ways of handling things maybe you've read a self-help book or you've you know uncovered some type of new information that you're like wow you know this this situation from then you know maybe it was an abusive relationship or something is actually really hurting me unconsciously and I, I don't know exactly why but I'm going to do my best to you know take the steps to heal and you know along that journey you may find someone that can help you with that or who maybe can teach you how to 
you know, deal with maybe something that happened that you still have in your life and that's still causing you some pain. Now for Leos, you are dealing with Saturn in Aquarius right now and it is going to retrograde back into Capricorn, but over the next few months, it's going to definitely put a pressure on you to you know ask you how you are being responsible are you are you investing your money properly are you um, taking care of yourself properly are you being responsible and aware of what is going on around you you know are you or are you just you know being very self-focused because i think this time for leos it can be definitely a time that they are looking inwards and worrying about themselves and maybe having even some self-confidence or self-identity questions. But with Saturn in that opposition to Leo, it is going to you know, definitely ask you to, to maybe put a plan together for how you move forward with things and how you tackle your life, you know, how you maybe fight these challenges that you are being faced with. Now with Venus retrograde in Gemini, you are experiencing this in a sextile aspect. You may have, you know, th there may be a bit of frustration underlying it in regards to relationships with friends or with groups and commitments that you've been um, working with just because of that, all, you know, the sextile to Gemini, but then also the opposition to Saturn. It can kind of, you know, make things a little bit more difficult in, in navigating that. But the Venus retrograde can definitely bring up fights with friends or even fights with business partners that you may have. It could bring in even new opportunities with them that you have to kind of reevaluate and review during this time frame. Maybe there is a you know business venture that a friend wants you to go in on them with, or your marriage partner. They could be having some ideas that they want to share with you and potentially want you to go in, you know, commit to and go in business with them. So definitely wait until Venus goes direct after June 25th to commit to anything like that. I think, you know, while Venus is retrograde, being more cautious in the areas of like contracts, marriage and friends is going to be very important for Leos. Now for Virgos, Virgo, you are having Gemini, um, Venus and Gemini in a square aspect to your sign. And that's not always comfortable. You know, Venus retrograde will bring up maybe fights with people, maybe um, challenges within your career. You may be feeling like you are having to, you know, maybe you just got on track with your career. And now with all of this going on, this pandemic, things have just been derailed and you are not on the same path. You have to find a new way to work and a new way to present yourself in the public so that you can make a living. And really a new identif like a newly identifying yourself because a lot of people do identify themselves through their career and they see their, um, you know, they find their motivation, they find their confidence through their career and through their public image. Especially if it's a Virgo rising, you're having this transit on your midhaven. So you can find that you're really having to reevaluate how you go about your career, how you go about making money and how you present yourself to the world. Do you want to reinvent yourself? Do you want to find a new way to express yourself or maybe a new hobby that you can do that allows you to potentially monetize on that? You may also have some frustrations within relationships or marriages or anything like that that you had planned for this summer. If you had planned to travel with your partner or to meet, you know, meet up with your your partner, get married, go on a trip, a honeymoon, a vacation together, do something romantic, there's going to be a wrench kind of thrown into that that is unforeseen and that might cause some frustration, fights pain and challenges and this could even affect how you and your partner move ahead after this you know by august when venus enters cancer it, you know it's going to be a time like did we did we make it through this did we heal from this did we come out stronger or did this cause us to fight more did this cause us to want to reevaluate being together or reevaluate what we how we move forward in the partnership now for Libras, Venus retrograde in Gemini is going to be in a trine aspect to your placement, which is definitely important because it is going to be definitely more positive and I think more relationship focused, communication focused. There may be some miscommunication or some lies when Venus goes retrograde on May 13th and things that you might uncover after Venus goes direct on June 25th. So just being aware of, you know, the partnership 
partnerships that you're in and making sure that you guys are being 100% upfront, honest about things. And it is just important to know that your relationships are going to be heightened and just that potential for something to kind of bubble up under the surface. And you know, a lot of times when air signs are involved, it does have to do with communication or it has to do with something that is maybe not being disclosed. And you know, again, when Venus goes direct on June 25th, that will be a time that you want to pay attention to maybe some news that you hear. You'll also be having Mercury and Gemini trying to your Libra placement. So it can be some good news. It can be some um, shocking news, something that you didn't expect. And it definitely will be something from that 2012 time frame, you know, maybe a pattern or something that you had to deal with at that point that might come up during this time that you have to revisit, reevaluate. And, you know, 2012 for you, I think was probably a pretty good year. You know, you had Jupiter and Venus trying to your sign. The only thing that was there that was maybe more mal malefic was Mars was in Libra for a little bit. So you still could have been dealing with some pain and some loss or hardship. So now at this time there, you know, those types of things might come up for you, but it could be more on the positive end. It could be more feeling ambitious and excited, energized, ready to get out there and date again, or ready to get to the fun side of things again with your current relationship. Now for Scorpio, Gemini is actually in conjunct to your sign, so it doesn't have, um, you know, an important aspect to you. So you can maybe be feeling a little bit isolated during this time. Maybe like you aren't able to make the types of connections that you want to make, or even that you are maybe having some creative blocks or some creative, you know, challenges that you have to deal with or be, that maybe that you're faced with. Maybe you could even have someone come into your life who helps you with your creativity. You know, when Mercury gets into Gemini and joins Venus, there could be a connection made or a maybe a solution that you come to once Venus goes direct on June 25th. This can't, you know, you want to look back to 2012. What were you working on then? What were you investing in? Were you investing in some type of a, you know, study program or a school or university? Or were you investing in your creativity, your hobbies? And have you gotten to where you want to get with those things? Or is this a time to reevaluate, re revalue, re redecide how you want to continue on with that? Do you want to continue with that hobby and make it something? Or do you want to you know, maybe leave it behind and try something new. Definitely a very important time for Scorpios. You know, we also have Uranus opposite to your sign. And since it's Taurus, it's opposite to Scorpio. So that is also causing some frustrations and some, you know, issues that you might have bubble up that aren't necessarily related to Venus. But since Venus is ruling that Taurus, but since Venus is ruling that Uranus and Taurus, there is still a connectivity there. You know, you are learning new ways of partnership. You're learning new ways of relating to people and you're probably making some pretty big decisions and life changes over this time frame as well in regards to relationships or, or in just the next steps of your life. Now Sagittarius, this is your, you know, Venus is opposite to your sign in Gemini. So this will be more important for you. You may have some themes from 2012 that are coming up for you. Maybe you are understanding the meanings of some of those relationships that you were in or the meanings of things that happened to you during that time frame of 2012. Maybe you are getting reacquainted with those partners or new partners in your life that, and those themes are just starting to come up again for you. Those themes of love, money, you know, values, next steps in your life, and even how you see yourself through relationships. A lot of times people will get into relationships and they will learn a lot about themselves. They will even compromise some of their own beliefs and their morals for another person or for a relationship, compromise some things that they, you know, that they wouldn't have done otherwise. So you are kind of being faced with that again and maybe the meaning of those situations that you had dealt with. It can also bring in fights with partners or fights with family members because when Venus goes retrograde on May 13th, there can be a level of just discomfort. So it can increase the level of fights that you have with someone. Maybe you're getting more, you're finding out some more news about something that happened or a situation that you are not you know, pleased to deal with or pleased to hear about. So maybe you want to be the aggressor and cause some fights or drama or they are, you know, in turn, 
kind of doing the same thing with you. They, they're not seeing how, or they're seeing how you're, you're living your life, how you're making your choices. And maybe it's just causing somewhat of a like bicker or an argument that is surfacing. Now Capricorns, Venus isn't affecting you too much. I would say that the main thing that you're dealing with is having that Pluto-Jupiter conjunction in your sign at the end of Capricorn. So a lot of you earlier Capricorns are feeling a little bit of relief, more positive, optimistic, more energy. And Venus in Gemini just overall causes more, more fun, more communication, more banter. So you're definitely feeling more positive and optimistic and like you're able to maybe dial in and nail down some of those goals that you have maybe been feeling frustrated about. Maybe you're able to, you know, once the summer gets going and the quarantine's lifted, maybe you are able to actually make those connections to people that you have been wanting to or getting out to socialize again and it's going to definitely feel really good. You may wanna keep in mind just the area of work and daily habits because Venus retrograde, if you're if this is your rising sign, it will be in your sixth house. So that in, in that case, there may be just frustrations and new challenges that you're facing in your daily work life. So I could see this being something like you're now working from home and you weren't having to before, or you are now back to work in the office and it's just getting used to a new way of life, a new way of doing things on a daily basis. Um, you also want to look at your health during this time and make sure that you are paying close attention to any health problems that you have and also just getting you know getting maybe back onto a healthy fitness routine once venus gets direct at the end of june june 25th you're really going to want to start getting in shape again or getting back to your regular routine now aquarius um, venus and gemini is going to be in a trine to your sign so that is a good aspect and you can be feeling like you're able to connect again i think a lot of aquarius that i know are feeling um quite restricted right now you know maybe your trip that you had planned was canceled or you are not able to work in the same way that you were before your routine is really off and you're definitely not able to go on dates and connect like you used to or even get out with your current partner to explore and to travel or something like that so this venus retrograde is going to speed things up for you a little bit you probably will have the opportunity to make some new connections with people and this can have a really good impact on your career your life or even just on your hobbies and your fun romance i could see bringing you know venus in gemini bringing in a new romantic partnership for you and you know you do want to be more careful when it goes retrograde when venus goes retrograde on may 13th because that could be maybe they're you know this person comes in and they are hiding things from you or they're not being 100 percent upfront about what they want or how they are planning on you know dealing with you and what they want from the relationship so just making sure that you guys are either on the same page about it being a fun situation or being on the same page about being monogamous together and everything will go smoothly if you guys are having those conversations about you know where you where you both stand and being honest with yourself about your feelings i think right now it's going to heighten that level of fun and romance but at the same time you are being asked to you know when that retrograde happens maybe being asked to have a conversation with yourself about how you're feeling and make sure that how you're feeling is conducive to what you are doing and who you are spending your time with. So definitely important for you guys to be clear and open-minded and just to have that clarity right now. Now for Pisces, this can definitely be a bit of a frustrating time for you, especially because Mars is going to be entering your sign. So that mm -hmm. definitely makes it more of like somebody maybe is coming into your life who is an aggressor or that wants to cause some drama or fighting with you. They may be, you know, wanting to just, you know, just mess with you a little bit. It could be something as small as just an argument with your family or your siblings or even with a boss or even something like losing a job or something like that. And Venus can even bring some more challenges with that as far as communication goes because it's going to be in a square aspect to Pisces. So whatever your planet or placement there is can even be intensified the level of discomfort or miscommunication. Venus has entered Gemini on April 4th and it will go retrograde on May 13th. So at that time, there could be the fight sort of, you know, underlying coming up. And then 
the story will end by August. So whatever it might be that you're dealing with, I would say probably in career, this can just be highlighted during that time of Venus retrograde. It also does reflect back to the summer of 2012. So you want to look back to what you were experiencing during that time and the confusion that might have been happening or the pain that you were going through. Keep in mind that in 2012, Chiron was in Pisces. So there could have been, in a, you know, even a like higher level of difficulty that you had experienced or pain even. And now things are, the story is kind of coming up and it's time to reevaluate, you know, see how far you've came. If you have healed from that, if you worked through that problem or that situation, you will be able to see it more clearly and be able to evaluate it. You know, how do you use this moving forward and how have you, you know, how have you used it throughout these last few years? Or is it time that you have to face it and heal from it now? So that is all for the 12 signs in Venus Retrograde. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to book a reading with me, my link is in the description box. Please like this video and comment your feedback below. Have a great day. Bye.